The dislocate is one of the first swinging skills that gymnasts learn on rings. It is a great way to really start developing some more momentum than a swing alone, allowing you to progress towards doing more impressive dismounts, as well as forming the foundation for many more advanced swinging skills. Firstly, don't be put off by the name of the skill. When done correctly, the dislocate isn't uncomfortable on the shoulders at all. Having said that, a certain amount of shoulder flexibility will help to make the move much easier and more comfortable for you. I recommend that you be able to do a full shoulder dislocate with a bar or belt at a minimum of double your shoulder width, but the greater your shoulder range is, the better. You should also have a strong ring swing with your body horizontal or higher in both directions and your arms pressed out to the side on your back swing. We'll start by building up to the static dislocate and then eventually you'll progress it up to the full dislocate. Start on a low set of rings to land on your front just to start understanding the movement, which can be quite confusing at first. You should aim to kick your feet 45 degrees diagonally backwards from Pike's inverted hang and straighten your body out to a nice hollow shape as quick as you can. Push your arms out to the side to finish in a normal backward swing position. You should be applying pressure downwards on the rings throughout the movement. Applying pressure throughout will help you to get your shoulders higher and give you better control on the downswing, meaning you are less likely to ping off the rings on your first few attempts. Once you're happy that you understand the movement on the low rings and you are rotating the rings fast enough, take it across to the high rings but let go just before you hit the bottom of the swing. Your main priority here is to make sure that you can get the rings around and into the backward swing position pressed out to the side before you let go. If you don't rotate your shoulders fast enough, you will swing through to a German hang, which will be very uncomfortable. Once you can move your arms fast enough to hit the horizontal swing position, it's time to try the full dislocate. The technique is exactly the same, you just need to be brave, hold on tight and go into the full swing. Try to do it above a pit for the first few attempts, or get a coach to slow you down, just in case you lose your grip at the bottom of the swing. It's quite a common mistake to bend the arms as you start to swing down, but this results in a very jerky outswing, so try your best to keep the arms straight. It's also quite common for the body to arch during the downswing, so try to keep your body strong and hollowed in. Once you can do the static dislocate, it's time to work towards the full dislocate from swing. Although both skills are worth the same in the men's code of points, it's good to be able to do both as the full dislocate gives even more momentum for dismount and is a good starting point for learning swing to handstand, bail from handstand and backward giant. Start by doing a swing to piked inverted hang and then an immediate static dislocate. Try to progressively pike less in the inverted hang phase and pause for less time until you are eventually doing it with a completely straight body. Be sure to still press the rings down as your shoulders rotate so that you can get your shoulders nice and high. In an ideal world you should pass through an inverted cross position in the full dislocate. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like it, favourite it and share it with anyone else who you think might find it helpful. For more regular updates, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, and for even more videos and updates, make sure that you like my Facebook page and subscribe to my training YouTube channel. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, please leave them below and I'll make sure that I get back to you. Thank you, hopefully see you again soon.